right? Yeah, yeah I don't work for a living. Is that what you're telling me? I don't know what you do. You're working on them ribs. That's not a job. Oh, that's racist. You work in, work in Ricky's knob ain't a job. I find that discreeting. <laughs> I'm surprised you could find it at all, Ricky. <laughs> all right, we are live on YouTube right now. You're listening to Lee Reynolds' show. We're getting ready to go live on Strange Label, I hope. And uh, Earl, give me a test. Give me a say something. I'm Earl. All right, he's Earl. All right, Dildano, Dildano I'm going to mute you down. And here we go. I mute that. Up. Let's do this. <laughs> Leroy! Yo, Earl! What? Hey, you're fired! You're fired! Oh, oh, man, man. Oh, 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 Good day, JP. It's a day. <laughs> listening to the Leroy and Earl show. It's the adult cartoon of podcasts. This is Andrew WK, and you're listening to Strange Labels. Time to party. Yeah! Yeah! All right, this is the Leroy and Earl Show. I'm Leroy. Yeah, I'm Earl. And we're going to pitch you some shift. Oh, go on and pitch that shift. What are you doing with your camera? I'm fixing it. You're fixing it? Why the hell did you guys get me a camera that you can only put on the screen? That makes no damn sense whatsoever. What, There's what no mean? stand for it or nothing. I can't move it around. It is a stand. It no. has, mine is on a it stand right now looking at me. Bullshit. Let me put it. Put it. <laughs> I can't put it on the camera. Well, then you can't prove it. It has a stand. What are you talking about? It sits better as a stand than it does clip to the. Maybe yours is different. It might be different. It's horrible. Look at it. Look. Look at it. <laughs> Would you look at it? I can't see it because you. You know what? I feel like I'm getting an echo again. Well, quit crying, man. Maybe you should set this shit up before you could do the show. All right, you are listening to Lee Werner Show, and we are live on the uh, Strange Label Podcast Network right now. It's our first night back. Uh, we were on this uh, network uh, some years ago, and uh, we took the podcast world by storm with this show. It's the Adult Country New Podcasts. Go to LeeRoyEarl.com. And uh, I apologize uh, that I'm echoing, but uh, I don't know. I noticed that when I listened to the replay last week, something's up, something's echoing. But I can I can motor through this. Oh, I hear you. I hear you echoing. Do you? Is it just me, or is it just you? It's me. It's not you at all. Yeah, I hear you echoing. It just sounds like reverb. It sounds like you got the shitty uh, sound room there. There's no reverb. Uh, it's a it's a bounce, man. I can hear it bouncing. Uh, yeah. Well, let me try one thing real quick. Just it'll take one second. Perfect time to do this shit. What's pulling your wiener out have to do with it, Leroy? No, that didn't do anything. All right. So anyway. Uh, first off, on the show tonight, we got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, we're going to have Dildano on. We're going to talk about the shift head thing. And uh, we're also going to, uh, I don't know if he wants to play that game or not. He's kind of being pissy because he got to get up in the morning. Uh, uh, before we before we bring him on, how are you doing, Earl? You were a little depressed last week. Yeah, I'm a little less depressed, but not uh, perfect this week. Anyways, what what's going on with your mic, man? Why are you echoing? Do you, ha you have two mics on, don't you? Uh, it, unless the it's possible the um, 
my camera mic turned on. That's possible. But, oh, now I can't hear you at all. That's perfect. Sorry. <laughs> uh, now I'm thinking that maybe uh, you have two computers hooked up to the Hangouts, or you just got one connection to Hangouts. Um, well, um, no, there's only one, there's only one, uh, thing hooked up to Hangouts. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know how you could have two mics going at once, unless uh, you got two mics running into your, your board there. I do not. I mean, I have the telephone, but it's, uh, it doesn't pick anything up unless you're right in it. You know what I mean? So, uh, wow. Well, I don't know. It's one of those things that's hard to test it. Unless we're right actually, on the spot, yeah, it's hard to do. Like on the spot, like right when you're supposed to be doing a show. Right. Oh, son of a bitch! That's how I feel about it. Well, let's bring Dildano on here. Hey, Dildano, what's up? Dildano, what's up? What's up, mother yeah. effer? What's, what's up, mother effer? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing's up. Nothing is up. Put, All right, put well, Dildano up. on hold. Put Dildano on hold, really quick, right. will you? All right, he's on hold. What? What? What is he doing here? Well, I thought he'd give me a chance to come on. We did a poll this week on Twitter uh, who the number one shift head was, and uh, he got slaughtered. He got slaughtered? He got slaughtered. And I even, I even texted him. He's probably talking right now. He's probably pissed off. <laughs> I texted him. I said, hey, you need to get your friends on here and start voting. Hey, do you care to share the results? I mean. Till down, are you there? Should I bring him back? Yeah, go ahead and bring him back. See what he's got to say for himself. He sounds like he failed. Uh, yeah. Uh, so we did a poll this week. Uh, who is the number one shifted? No. I am. <laughs> Not according to our Twitter fans. And Earl. Fuck your Twitter fans. Earl. I'm Earl. Earl, if you I'm guess, Earl. guess how many people voted? Be real, be three, real, be real, three, three. Higher. I'm being realistic. Higher. Six. Four. Higher. Four hundred. <laughs> Lower. How many times am I gonna guess? Just tell me, Jesus. Seventeen. It's seventeen votes in the poll, which is pretty good. Del Dono, you didn't vote? You didn't get a chance to vote for yourself? Nope. Because he did it on Twitter. You don't get on Twitter anymore? I don't like Twitter. He doesn't Twitter, like Twitter is annoying, man. I don't understand Twitter. Well, I don't, right? I'm not a huge fan either, but it's been a pretty good uh, source of promotion for us. I mean, why the hell when I'm on my mobile electronic device that I click on a feed like you commented on something i click on it and it's got other people's comments i can't see the other comments yeah, what kind can, of sense does that make no i can't can i'll yeah. tell you how well you shouldn't have to tell me how it shouldn't be that goddamn hard i agree <laughs> so, do you want to hear the results i do okay and it only gives us a percentage and here are the four nominees for number one shifted. Carlisi, Dildano, Douche. Dr. Brown, awesome. and Douche. Shifted Tom. Douche. Now, I I actually forgot to put in our newest fan, Shifted One, who I still think is somebody we know. Shifted One? On Twitter. Remember we talked about this last week? So no. One. No. Don't remember. No, I don't remember. Anyway, so here is the percentages. In first place with 71% of the votes, Carlisi. All right. All right. And in second place with 18% of the votes, Dr. Brown. All right. Congratulations, Dr. Brown and Carlisi. In third place with 12% of the votes, Dildano. Third place, not last, huh? Good job there, big guy. Shifted Tom got zero. Shifted zero. Tom, you're, you're, what about uh, Stephen Hawking? Yeah. So I may do the, I'm going to do the poll again, not right away. Throw the Shifted one in there. 
and, and Stephen uh, Hawking. Jill Dono, what do you have to say for yourself? Damn it. I don't, I don't have to say anything. Yeah. I, what did I tell you when you told I, me I was getting slaughtered? Uh, well, everyone on Twitter and Facebook knows what you said because I posted it. So everyone knows right. that you're the number one shift head and you're going to stab people in the face with a soldering iron. Right? Yeah. I think he stole that from Christopher Walken. I think he did. Well, here's the thing, Dildano. What, uh, Earl, you can help me out here. What defines the number one shift head? I would say the votes. Not so. No, no, no. Not no. some cheesy ass votes on Twitter. He's right. He's right. But what, 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 what things would a shift head, shift head have to do to be the number one shift head? Well, give the most money. I would say that the number one shift head would have to be somebody who's been there since day one. Dildano. Number one shift head would have to be somebody who spent Thanksgiving with Leroy and Earl. No, Dildano. No, no, no. That's not acceptable. Somebody who you don't you don't get favoritism just because you think you know us. Right. Somebody who goes to kick ass cover band concerts with Leroy and Earl. Dildano. No, no. Yeah, maybe you didn't have to be bribed. Who, who takes one of the cast members to a clutch show, Bill Dono? Again, no. All of, the, all, of, all of these things, except the first thing, are things that the other shift heads don't have the opportunity to do, and maybe they would do it. So those things don't count. Just because you know us or you think you know us doesn't make right. you a shift head. That just makes you a good person. The opportunity. God damn it. What? We Tom can't... lives right across the street from you. How does he not have the opportunity? I live an hour away from you. Okay, next Thanksgiving, we're inviting all the shift heads. Every, every one of them. We're going to have a shift head Thanksgiving. You mark my words right now. And Tom was last place. What? Black hawk? What the hell is that? A big black what? hawk? <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lay it out. like yours, but bigger. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to... Are you kidding me? I'm going to lay out for you. Here's the things that make the number one shift head. Donations. It's the number, number one. Number two. Yep. Got it. Promoting I've got it. When's the last time? Three years ago? Yeah, they expire, Dildano. The last time you guys did the damn show. The last person to donate happens to be the number one shift head. That should tell you something right there. <laughs> and, and, you know, it's not just that, but promoting the show. On Twitter and on Facebook. Which, which, which I was the promoting king back was, in the day was. before you guys dissolved the show. Earl, did you hear that word he said was? It's, uh oh. What's he doing? He's gone. Are you still there, Jill Donna? What's going on here? He's yeah. Back. What are you doing? Why don't I hear you anymore? Oh, my God. <laughs> did you mute me? No. Come on, I I'm don't there. hear you. Oh boy. This is the Leroy and Earl show. Very typical. Wow! Christopher Walken here again. Go to LeroyandEarl.com right now and click the donate button. If you don't, there. I'll have to stab you in the face with a soldering iron. There we go. I don't know what you did, buddy. Something happened. I think we might have to go back to Skype. We might have to go back to Skype. All right, Dildano. Yeah. Okay, you were the, you were the number one shift head, I would say. But you've you've slacked off, man. You slacked off. The show is back. We are back and firing on all cylinders. We're back on live on the Strange Label Network. We are live on YouTube, so you can watch me dry smoke a cigar. And you can you can go on strangelabel.com right now. Is that now. what Ricky makes you call it now? <laughs> I'm offended by that. I figured you would be. I think. Uh, I'm surprised you know what it means. Ricky has the story he really wants to talk about, but I don't want to talk about it. I think it's funny. I think I don't either. That echo is driving Shut me nuts. Shut the hell up, Ricky. It's driving me nuts too. And then uh, my my voice cut out, and your voice cut out for a while there. Well, it was all good on this end. You heard me. Yeah, yeah, we can. You hear heard you. me saying I couldn't hear you. Yeah. 
I wish somebody would uh, from Strange Label who knows how to to podcast would message me and tell me why I'm echoing. Oh, is it just a, a Strange Label thing? I don't think so because I heard the echo last week. Uh, and we weren't live on Strange Label. Then what the hell would that what good would that do? Why are you involving them if it ain't nothing to do with them? Because they're they're professional broadcasters. They aren't professionals. I think they might be. They got a lot of good shows on that network. You should go listen to some of them. I can't. Why are you repeating yourself? I'm not. Anyhow. <laughs> Everything you're saying, you're saying twice. It's annoying. Wow. It's not that bad. Not on my end. I wonder what it, uh, Hold on. I'm going to turn Earl down. Check one, two. There it is. It's gone. It's coming out of my ears into it's, your, when your I turn, when my I turn, microphone into your speakers. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Hey, when I turn you down in the soundboard, the echo goes away, I think. So. Okay. What if, what if it's Hangouts somehow? I don't fucking know, but hey. Well, the show must go on. The show must go on. We are, this is Leroy show on Leroy. Hey, Phil Dono. I'm Phil Dono. Do you, do you have anything to say for yourself? Any last words? I know you, you didn't want to stay on here, right? You wanted to get off. I will. I, my last word. Yeah, I always want to get off. My last words will be. I will see you Saturday. What time? I don't know. I was thinking Porsche. All okay. of fame. That sounds good. Four o'clock. Hall of Fame. Yeah. That's still Dono. Leave Ricky at home. Ricky's yeah, Ricky's not coming. Don't worry about Ricky. Good. Good. All right. Thanks for calling in, and you are the number three shift head. I mean, that's, that's better than nothing. Don't you think? All right. Well, this is this is Dil Dono, number one shift head, over and out. Over and out. <laughs> number one shift head, my ass. Earl, are you there? I'm here. <laughs> Sorry, man. Let's liven this shit up a little bit, man. I don't hear any tunes. I don't hear nothing. Well... The tunes are out in the background. Last week when I played the tunes, you're like, why are you playing so many tunes? Bullshit. Exactly. Tell me the evidence. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So, uh, did you see the thing on uh, Facebook about the penis park in South Korea? I did not. I did not happen to come across that. It probably has something to do with your uh, search criteria. It's no, it was. It's a video that's going around Facebook of a place supposedly in South Korea called Penis Park. And it's supposedly this. There's a video. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show it if I can find it, but I don't know if I can find it. Yeah, I know. I should have found it before. We'll go ahead and Google Penis Park. <laughs> The video looks really real. You know what I mean? It don't look like a made up or made up thing. But uh, yeah, that's a nine minute video. Let's try this one. All right, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna try and share my screen. See what see how this goes. Ricky, come here. Yeah. Ricky, you you wanted me to do this story. I did. I thought it was funny. I thought it was cool. <laughs> So, I'm going to make you, uh, this ain't the video I was looking for. This is what's pissing me off. Yeah, this show's tanking. <laughs> hey, it's, uh, not any worse than last week's show. Not any worse, not any worse than all the shows. Okay. Just, put, just put a video on of like much, a Howard much, Stern show or something. We'll see if it works, because uh, in the past, it didn't work. All right, there's my screen. I can Ricky, see it. Ricky, get over here. Read this. Uh, you want me to read it? Yes, because it was your idea. And you said it was really cool, so I want you to read it. All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. Read it. Oh, look. I get, it's too loud. It's too loud. I can't read it. It's going too fast. 
there, there was a virgin. A virgin died, and 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 the fish went away. So some guy jacked off in the water, and the fish came back. And that that's what happened at the penis park in South Korea. This is a real place. Make the screen bigger, you dumbass. Okay. <laughs> this music is terrible. It's killing me. Let me turn it down. So it's in South Korea right there. And this person, they're going to the penis park. These oh, people. Women are allowed in the penis park too? Anybody can go to, to the penis park. And uh, it's it's a real place. They have a bunch of statues of penises. Black ones, big black ones, brown ones, white ones. And uh, oh, there's uh, got a penis on her head. <laughs> oh, boobs too, huh? Yeah. I don't, <laughs> this guy's standing around looking around at penises. Those are totem penises. Yeah, that was oh. split open and see the women like the penises and some people. It's a real place in South Korea. Uh, I think I'm gonna go visit it. <laughs> what? I think I'm gonna go visit it. I would like to be honored with my my penis statue there. Uh, yeah, that would be. I wonder if these penises are modeled after, you know, actual humans. I don't know, but I would like to visit. Why? Why are you so enamored with this? Are you gay? <laughs> Ricky, are you gay? Ricky. I thought you guys were both gay. I didn't understand. What? You know I'm not gay. Well, I mean, you guys were in a related thing for a while, weren't you? I told you it was one time, one night. Oh, look, they're banging the penis. This is a lady banging the penis. <laughs> Ricky, are you gay? Yes. Ricky, it's okay. It's okay to be gay, Ricky. I thought you guys would make fun of me. I'm not making fun of you, Ricky. I'm, I'm I'm okay. If you're gay, you're gay, buddy. Is this serious? Hey, that looks like my penis kind of right there. <laughs> wow. You're, that, that, you're... that guy is definitely not a North or a Korean guy. No. <laughs> There's my penis. <laughs> Bullshit, Ricky. Maybe Ricky's hung like a horse. Maybe we could we could get Ricky and do him to some porns. We make some get some use out of him. Ricky porn. Gay porn. <laughs> One more time, I'm, I'm a little confused. Ricky, are you messing around with us? I am not. I'm coming out on the Leroy and Earl show as I am gay. Why did she never tell us before? What's this girl drinking out of a penis cup? Well, in Ricky's defense, I think he told you when he was, uh, you know, that night. Listen, you you like to uh, give us a hard time. Hey, <laughs> penis yeah. shots. She's drinking on the wrong end. Give you a hard time for having ass sex? Yeah. It was one time. It was a mistake. It was not a mistake. I'm not you, I, it's okay. It's okay I'm to be gay. gay. I thought he, I, I am I thought not. Thought you were gay for a minute. I get it. I'm, well, Ricky's telling you he's gay and he's into you, and I'm he's willing you. to work things out. Oh, I'm not into Mister Leroy. That's not. Well, I'm, I'm not into that. Well, and who it, are you into, Ricky? I, uh, well, I got guys that I think are attractive at my uh, at my uh, community college. <laughs> you don't go to community college. We should have been hooking Ricky up with Chaz the whole time. I thought Chaz was a very interesting fellow. Huh. Maybe we'll set, set that up one of these days. Gotta fix a second. So, I, Ricky, you're coming out on the show, the Royal Show. As gay. You are 100 percent gay. You're not messing with us, right? You're not messing around. I am not messing around. You're not doing this just because it's cool to come be gay now, are you, Ricky? Because that would be not cool if you're doing that. Oh, you were finished. Uh, oh well allow no, me I, to I'm retort. not finished. Uh, no, I'm not coming out because it's cool. I, I've been gay the whole time and I didn't say anything because I thought you guys would freaking What about that time that you had uh, you went down on uh, Nana Leroy? That never happened. Before was, the show, it happened, Ricky. We saw you on camera. Ugh. On the credenza? She's, she's pretty well endowed, so I pretended like it was a penis. <laughs> All right, this show is going in the gutter here. It's okay, Ricky. It's okay to be gay. We kind of already knew it anyways. Congratulations. Well, I appreciate you guys 
you know, understanding and stuff because it, it's been really hard. <laughs> I didn't mean that as a joke. I bet it's been hard being a gay person. Gay, gay, gay. Why? Because it's still hard. People still make fun of you. People beat you up and stuff. People, people made fun of you when you were straight, Ricky. Hmm. I never really thought of that. Yeah, it wouldn't matter. I mean, the, the level of... I mean, I'm not going to stop calling you an idiot just because you're gay now. Oh, that's what he's doing. It's not what I'm doing. That's what he's doing. He's trying to... He's playing the sympathy card. He's trying to get some kind of, uh, you know, a special classification. You know, he's white. He's a white male. Well, I thought he was already classified as special. But he's, that's the problem. He's not. He's not... He's not actually retarded. He's not dumb enough to get like any special treatment. I find bullshit. I find that hard to believe. <laughs> well, I, this is not. You're wrong, Mister Leroy. I'm as gay as gay gets. Hey, I, I, more power to you, Ricky. I told you, I, I agree. I think you're gay, and I think it's cool. All right, I don't think Mister Leroy believes me. I, I, I have my doubts. We'll see. Get a boyfriend, bring him in here, and I'll believe you. That's weird. <laughs> Why is that weird, Ricky? Well, uh, what's he want me to do? Come in here and make love with him? No. Yes. I told <laughs> you we're going to make videos. Ricky's too ugly to be in porn. You know, have you seen his wiener? And I know you have. I know the answer. Well, <laughs> what do you mean to say? It's, it's not small. Is it as big as this microphone? It's bigger. Exactly. He's perfect for the... Not much bigger. It's big around like a Coke can. That's a lie. <laughs> All righty. So what do you got for us, man? Any interesting topics? Uh, we, got a, we got a phone call coming in on line three. Line three. This is Leroy and, oh, uh, this is Leroy and Earl Show. Who's this? This is Father James. What the frick hell are you guys doing over there? <laughs> we were accepting Ricky for his new... Uh, Sexual preference. Well, that's, this is bullshit. There's no way that boy's gay. There's no way. Why do you say that? Because I've seen him out with girls. Maybe he was just faking. Ricky, were you faking? I did. I faked a lot of stuff with girls so you guys wouldn't make fun of me. See? I don't. I don't believe it for a second. That that boy is not gay. He's trying to. He's trying to get you guys to stop giving him a hard time and get special fucking treatment. I'm telling you right now. Earl. Well, we're not going to give him any special treatment, so I don't know what the end, end game is here. What's your angle? I feel like you're already giving him special treatment. You haven't slapped him in the whole show. <laughs> it's true. You haven't hit him yet. Well, he's kind of been doing everything right, except for this echo. Yeah, you can't hit a gay person. Yeah. See, there it is, right there. You can't hit a gay person, though, Father James. What, what do you mean you can't? You, the hell you can't. I'll come over there right now and beat the shit out of him. <laughs> Father James, uh, did you call in just to bash the gays, or what's your point oh, no, here? No, no, I'm not bashing gay people. I'm bashing Ricky. That dumbass is not gay. <laughs> All right, fair enough. He says he's not gay. He says Ricky's not gay. I got. I already got the name for this episode: The Gay Echo. <laughs> Leroy, you're a freaking certified genius. Thank you. Is that all you called in for is to get, give Ricky hard time? Well, yeah, of course I did. And I wanted to just say, good job, boys. Good job on the strange label. I'm listening here on strange label. That's probably why you're echoing, you idiots. <laughs> we can't be echoing because we're on strange label. We echoed last week, and I'm pretty sure we weren't on strange label last week. We were not. Well, I'm going to go because I got things to do. But let me tell you something. Ricky is not freaking gay. It's not gay. Goodbye. Father James out. Well, he sets his two cents, Ricky. I see. I figured people would react this way. That's why I kept it to myself for all these years. You are sounding smarter tonight, which is worrying me. And Earl's gone again. Uh, Ricky, just go into the other room and work on those clips I told you to. All right, thanks. So uh, Earl's gone again, and uh, it's got to be hangouts. Hangouts blows. Tonight I am drinking. White Russian, and I'm dry smoking a La Perla Habana Oro cigar Robusto. 
I was cut off there for a minute. Uh, we were talking about Ricky being gay, and then uh, what this? What are you talking about? Oral now? No, I was telling the listeners and the fans watching what I'm drinking. I'm drinking a white Russian. There's three shots of vodka in here, three shots of uh, Kahlua, and some cream. The dude abides. Racist. How is that racist? I mean, it's racist. A white Russian? How about you're drinking a black African? Is that racist? It's racist. No. There's black Russians. Bullshit. There is black. It's the same thing. You just don't put cream in it. Well, it still refers to their race. It's not their. It's not somebody's race. When you refer to somebody's race, it's racist automatically, whether you have any intent of offending a certain race or not. I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but being Russian is not a race. It's, it's a nationality. Carlisi, you got to be listening right now. Get your ass on strangelabel.com and, and message us. That's, if you want to message Leroy and Earl while we're doing the show, that's where you're going to message us at strangelabel.com. You can listen to the show at the same time and message us. Anybody else, too? The show is effed up. The gay echo. So, Ricky's gay. So Ricky's gay. I can. I don't care. I really don't care. I just don't believe him. Hey, little buddy. <laughs> He's gone. Uh, things are going so well tonight on the Strange Label Podcast Network. Uh, there's some really good shows on Strange Label, and I'm going to tell you what some of them are right now because uh, you should go over there and listen to them. Uh, the the flagship show is called Wheelbarrow Full of Dicks. Or WFOD. Great show. Great show. Wheelbarrow Full of Dicks. <laughs> you got me back? Am I yeah, back on this back. thing? You are back. And they're live every Monday nights at 9. The Ferdicast is on Thursdays at 8. The Lotus Cast is not on. We, we had a little feud with the Lotus Cast when we first came on the network three years ago because they didn't they didn't like our show. They didn't get our shtick, if you know what I'm saying. They thought we were stupid. Well, which, they were right. <laughs> they're not that far off. And then on Tuesday nights, you can listen to Not Safe for Water Coolers at 8 o'clock. Howie's at the coffee shops on Saturday nights at 10, and uh, they're good friends of ours. In fact, one of their guys, I can't remember who it was, coined the phrase, the adult cartoon podcast for us. So we thank them. Pod Cheese. Is uh, I don't know what time they're on. Doesn't say song salad. Don't know when they're on either. The fake ass radio show's new, and yeah, uh, when the shows aren't live, there's a podcast playing twenty four seven on Strange Label, so you can always listen to something. And you'll hear us on there once in a while once we get some shows on there. We basically, just replay the live shows. So you and I. We got to get this uh, echo thing squared away sometime before next week. Is that possible, little buddy? Sure, sure. My, uh, I also am having a problem over here where my screen gives me some kind of error, and then your voice cuts out. Huh. Well, I'm not even seeing your camera now. Well, I shut it off because I thought maybe there was an issue here. I wonder if it's just Hangouts because we had problems with Hangouts before. Remember, that's why we went to Skype. It's possible. I mean, I think the audio quality is better on Hangouts, but... I don't know about that. I mean, it's... Last week, when we when we couldn't get on Hangouts, and we went over to Skype, it, to me, it sounded better. Okie dokie. Okie dokie, holy smoky. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, that's us. So we're on Strange Label, and uh, we are the podcast that does nothing but talk about our show. <laughs> you know <laughs> that is true. That's all we ever do. Or well, we just talked about Penis Park in South Korea. That is true. We did talk about penises and uh, homosexuality. So, how's your new shift going? It's going pretty good. It's nice to be home at uh, three o'clock in the afternoon. Is it hard getting up in the morning? No, no. I mean, I've only done it two days, and I've I've been able to get up. Actually, easier than it, it's easier to get up at 5 than it is to get up at 10, 10 a.m. I saw that picture of you. You look like you've aged 30 years. Well, I did the minute I walked through that door. I aged. I matured. 
I'm actually, it's well past my bedtime right now. Is it? Yeah. You don't, you don't go to bed this early. I go to bed about 9.30. Okay. It's only 7.30. Uh, but on shift n- shift nights. It's shift? It's shift nights. I go to bed, it's, you know, <laughs> oh, okay. real or as early as I can. I get you. <laughs> See, you're ready to wrap this up. Uh, okay, I'm looking at my Trello board. Okay, I got to go down the list of things here. Uh, first of all, uh, we made a joke last week, uh, actually, with Saul Gorman, who's, who was at uh, Rob Gonkowski's house for a Super Bowl pre-party. He made a joke about... Uh, <laughs> sorry. Sorry, I'm thinking. He made a joke about... We asked if Rob was going to play in the Super Bowl because he had a concussion. And he said, if he doesn't, he's going to join Aaron Hernandez in prison because somebody's getting murdered. Well, I forgot Aaron Hernandez hung himself like three or four months ago. So <laughs> I want to retract that joke. And I apologize to the families of Aaron Hernandez for making light of his demise. And they are, uh, this is in the news, his family has filed a lawsuit against the NFL and the NFL's Players Association because they believe he had brain damage, which caused him to commit the murders and then kill himself. What do you think about that, little buddy? This is killing me. Every, he's there the whole time I was talking, and then as soon as I ask him a question, poof, he just disappears. I think what we should do Stop this broadcast and go to Skype. I don't want to do that in the middle of the show. Forget it. I can right. Keep... I'll just keep connecting and then just, just never do this shit again. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna just do Skype next week. Hey, I I'm wondering, you know, you sound <laughs> I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> you said you sound oh boy. Son of a bitch! So anyway, um, I think we're going to take a little break. It's about halfway through the show. We find a good song here to play for you guys. I'm going to take a break and I'm, I'm going to take a break and see if we can figure this out uh, in about four minutes. <laughs> so, you hear me now? I can hear you. Um, I think maybe you want to try Skype. You just want to keep doing this. Hello. Can you hear me? All right. So screw it. We're gonna take. We're gonna take a little break right now. Yeah. I'm gonna Skype you. Okay. Do you hear me? I can hear you now. It's on my end. I'm gonna Skype you. It's not Google Hangouts. Okay. It's the driver. It's me? No, I mean, it's the driver. It's oh, like on your I, end? Too many drivers, audio drivers from recording. It's trying to switch over to different drivers. I got it in the settings. I got it figured out, and I can actually hear you better, too. All right, we're, we're going to take a little break while he continues to do that. We'll be right back. Well, I'm hey. done now. Wasted away the 
Listening to the Leroy and Earl Show. Hey, wobs, did you know that we're on the TuneIn app for your smartphone? That's right. Take us anywhere. Take us to the fucking mall. Take us to the, the boat. Take them in your car. Do whatever the fuck you want. You can listen 24 hours a day to strangelabel.com. Download the app. Search for Strange Label. Strangelabel.com on your phone. All right, welcome back to the Leroy and Earl Show. I am Leroy. You there, Earl? Earl's not there. I'm Earl! <laughs> I see the word beer. Let's do this shit, man. Come on! Okay, listen, uh, Carlisi, number one in Chithead, just messaged me on strangelabel.com. I asked him how the echo was. He said, it's not bad on his end. He's watching on YouTube. On Strange Label, it's crystal clear. No echo on Strange Label. So maybe it's just, maybe we're just hearing it. It is possible, but hey, who get, it's not that bad that you need to give a shift about it. Let's just go, okay? There's an error in the show. Let's not fester on it all fucking night, because I've only got two more episodes after this. I don't know if you realize that or not. And then it's back on the, it's back to contract talks. And I'm telling you right now, the way things are going right now, it's going to cost a pretty penny. So Carlisi, Dildonzo, uh, number two, three, shift head, Tom, uh, shift head one, and Joel Brown, all five of you need to pull together and pony up whatever it is I'm asking for. Just start <laughs> sending it in. Well, uh yeah, go to go to LeeRoyNoel.com and donate now because we need we need your money. Actually, hey, we don't. hey, if you're not even gonna if you don't have the money, how about just donating some material so we don't sit here and talk about ourselves the whole goddamn night? Because <laughs> that's the real problem with this show. We need to keep the show moving. Well, sometimes I think you don't realize the uh, mystique of this show. What makes the show good? I don't think you get it. Mistake? Did you say mistake of the show? mystique i think sometimes you don't realize that when we're at our worst when we're fucking up so bad it's it feels like we, we just just quit people seem to enjoy that the most no. the i i i disagree agree to disagree because uh or disagree to agree you're wrong <laughs> It, no one wants to hear us talk about the goddamn show. They want to hear news. They want to hear topics that they have heard about during the day. Okay? Well, do you have any weather? I don't have any weather because you didn't talk to me all week long. The oh. weather. The so weather outside. There's a little bit of snow melting. Or it's not melted. It's shitty. There's like a glaze of snow on the ground. And it's like 20 degrees. It's going to be the work. same tomorrow. <laughs> if you're in Ohio, it sucks, okay? I don't know what to tell you. It's like... It's like 40 degrees at night in Florida, so you know Ohio's going to suck, all right? <laughs> what do you want to hear? You don't even play the weather song anymore. I'm waiting and ready for you every you don't week. Play, you don't play the weather song. You don't play the news. 
You don't play the new song. You don't talk to me throughout the week. You don't, you don't, uh, we used to have tech reviews. We used to have some kind of organization that made this worthwhile, man. We're running a shit show here, and now we're on a big network like Strange Label, and apparently that doesn't matter. You didn't even come on to get the shit ready last week. I, you're right. I did screw up last week, but I spent t my own time outside of the show with the guys from Strange Label on Sunday getting it fixed. So... What do you want me to do? What, do you, what else do you want from me? Hopefully some news or something to talk about. We, <laughs> we talked about we talked about the penis park and Ricky came out as gay. What else do you want? <laughs> Ricky's gay. Is that it? Is the show over? No, it's not over. All right, then. Then you must have something else to talk about. I have What's a, Trello uh, say? What's Trello telling you to do? <laughs> Trello is telling me to take a call from uh, Augustus Hawking. Well, take it. Augustus Hawking. Jesus Christ. Ricky, Ricky get in here. What? Get in here. I'm using the bathroom. Well, shake it off and get in here. All right. Hold on. He's lying. He's pulling one out to you, Leroy. All right. Well, you leave. Get Augustus Hawking on the phone. He said he didn't want to come on the show anymore because he listened to it. <laughs> That's, that doesn't surprise me. What do you mean? He's not coming on? He said he's not. Call him up anyway. Call him right freaking now. All right, I'll do it. Hold on. All right, he's going to call him up. So, Augustus Hawking is the uh, brother of Stephen Hawking, and he, he's been contacting uh, tons of different media outlets and uh, he's breaking some big news, and he was going to break it first on our show, and hopefully uh, he hasn't already broke it. You know what I mean? Have you heard anything? I don't understand what you mean. Have you seen anything? Broke, broke, what? Have you seen anything in the news about Stephen Hawking's brother coming out with some big news? I have not. I didn't even know that Stephen Hawking had a brother. He never mentioned it when he was on the show three years ago. What's with your camera angle? What is with my camera angle? You're fucking everything up, and you want to point out my camera angle? No, I didn't say it was bad. It's Jeez. cool, actually. I it's, can see your reflection in the sign. It's awesome. I know. It's a way for me to stay secret. <laughs> I don't. I decided really over the last couple of days, couple of weeks, that I don't really want to be seen anymore on this show. Well, when we first started this, I thought maybe you wouldn't want to, and I even gave you the chance to, to opt out of that. Did you? Yes. <laughs> you're, you're like, okay, whatever. Jesus H. Christ. Well, I thought we were going to do better than this. <laughs> Come on! I want to know who's wasting our time. All right, on I'm pulling up Trello. God damn it, I'm pulling up Trello. Yeah, on line three, we, we have Augustus Hawking, the brother of Stephen Hawking. Hello, Mr. Hawking. Are you there? Hello, are you there? Mr. Hawking, hopefully you're there and you have something worthwhile to tell us. Welcome to the goddamn Leroy and Earl show. Hello, Leroy and Earl. This is Augustus Hawking. What? Hello? This is Augustus Hawking. Hello. Yes, we hear you. Earl, can you hear him? <laughs> I, I can hear him. It kind of does sound like uh, Stephen Hawking. Augustus, <laughs> tell us a little bit about your brother. I am calling because I'm tired of living in the shadows of my brother. Okay. What? And who and who exactly is your brother, Augustus? My brother is Stephen Hawking, the famous scientist who is supposedly in a wheelchair. You, okay, so it is the, the Stephen Hawking, the famous guy. The Stephen. Well, tell us a little about Stephen, Augustus. He is a fraud and a fake. Oh, in what way? He is not paralyzed, and his voice is like this. Uh, are you are you mocking him? No, our whole family has a voice like this. My father had a voice like this, and my grandfather. We all talk like this. <laughs> Even when he did that zero gravity flight, and he looked like crippled, but he was floating around crippled. You think you're saying he faked that, Augustus? He is full of shit. 
He does all of it for publicity for the chicks. <laughs> well, what about uh, Augustus? What about like black, big black hoes? He's very smart. He does know a lot about science, but he science. is not crippled, and his voice is normal. <laughs> I don't think he understands. She understands. Is this a girl or a guy? It's a guy. Oh, I am okay. a guy. Augustus. My name is Hawking. You can call me Gus. Okay, Gus. So you're here to tell us that Stephen Hawking is not crippled and his voice is just normal. That is correct. <laughs> how many brothers and Agnes? How many brothers and sisters do you guys? <laughs> which would she say, uh, Leroy? I am not a girl, and my name is Augustus. His name's Augustus. Okay. I think he's getting a little offended. Offended I by listen, what? He's... I listen, listen, listen to me. I listen to your show, and you guys are terrible. I don't know why I am on here. I am desperate for someone to listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> she says she was desperate for someone to listen to her? Stop calling me a girl. I am not a girl. <laughs> All woman. I get it, Augustus. Stop. Stop calling uh, it a girl, otherwise we're not going to be able to move on with this conversation. I'm sorry, I'm calling it like I see it, man. I, I, Agnes, go on. What do you want to tell us? My name is Augustus, not uh, Agnes. Agu Augustinus, go. You don't believe in Stephen. I get it, but he's real. We had him on the show. He is real. I am real, but he is not crippled, and he does not have a, an unusual voice. Call the Hawking boys that talk like this. Are you okay? You sound like you're having a problem. I am perfectly fine. I am very upset with your friend calling me a girl. <laughs> There's okay. nothing wrong with being a girl, I guess. This... Stop calling him a girl. I'm not calling him a girl. So, Augustus. You're you're on here because you want to out your brother. Your brother's getting all his fame and attention for being in a wheelchair and having a, a computer voice. And what you're saying is, is that is all bullshit. Yeah, that somebody's riding. That is correct. I am living proof. You can hear my voice. His voice is just like mine. <laughs> so do you know anything about big black holes? I do not. It happens to be one of great Stephen Hawking's favorite uh, pastimes. It's Googling big black holes. I know what he does. I am aware of him. He is my brother, goddammit. <laughs> so, Agnes, you think that he's famous because he's crippled? I mean, wasn't he famous before he not, became I'm a crip? I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not talking to you anymore. Goodbye. Well, what the hell? Did she you got did. upset, man. It's that time of the month or something for her. <laughs> you keep calling her a girl. Well, with a name like Agnes. His name is Augustus. Get the dick out of your ear. <laughs> what? Nothing, man. I'm just confused, I guess. I... What'd she call for anyways? He, he, he said... He wanted to out his brother, not as gay. He was outing him as a, a fake, a fraud. So he's crippled. Big fucking deal. I mean, he still figured out big black hose. I don't believe Augustus, by the way. You don't? I don't believe her either. No. I do not. I, I think the guy's full of shit. He's probably not even real. <laughs> it's Probably not. All right. All right. I'm logging in on Trello here if I can remember it how. Bad. It wasn't bad. Was bad. Uh, you can watch us do the show live on YouTube. If you subscribe to our channel, you can go to LeeRoyNerald.com. It's a brand new website that links to everything. You can download this. You can listen to this show anywhere now. We're on iTunes. We're on Google Play. Uh, yeah, we're out there. Wherever. And guess what? Guess what, Earl? Uh, go ahead, Leroy. We're doing it for free. We, we, I figured out how to get all this stuff done for free. Well, that's one of us. I'm not doing this shit for free. 
I meant, I meant, I'm not paying to do the show. I'm not paying to get it out there. Yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> You're gonna make me pay. Bill Dono and uh, Agnes. Uh, two callers tonight. If you want to be the next, one 6880 That's our phone number. Live on Strange Label. You can listen. I, I played an audio commercial out of the break there. The Tune In Radio app. You can listen to the show live there too. Because just search for Strange Label. They got their own setup. It's it's pretty. It's actually pretty uh, cool of those guys to let us on their network. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's really uh, kind of them. I appreciate it, especially they uh, uh, took us back with open arms after three years of just <laughs> abruptly quitting on them. I'm sure they're used to it, although most of the shows are still on there. Do I think shows. it was great that they uh, got rid of Lotus Cast, you know, as a condition of our return. Right. I think that was a good move. It's a good trade-off. Get rid of the Lotus Cast for the Leroy Earl Show. We don't cartoon a podcast. I got I got news, buddy. Go ahead. Got a new phone. Oh, time for a tech review, huh? I got an iPhone. Yes, I'm gonna do a tech review. And uh, tell me you did not get an iPhone eight. I am not gonna tell you that because I didn't. An iPhone nine. I got the iPhone twelve. Damn, I did not realize they were out. They had so many out iPhones out. So uh, here we go. Here we go. No, we're not going. Anyway. What was you trying to do? Let's try to load up the uh, the theme music. But as always, it ain't working. Well, so, I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tell you guys how this show works and everything about this show. We have this thing called Trello. Just Google it if, you ha if you've never heard of it. Some of you who are business savvy will love it. Uh, it's a great way to organize your whatever your projects whatever you have with multiple people through uh obviously through the internet uh, that's what we're using right now we've got a couple tabs up here order news upcoming bits one-liners topics of discussion and earl's private parts just to give you a view and inside look of what we do unfortunately we don't look at this thing throughout the week we don't plan anything this stuff's been in here for a long time hey earl can i I'm stop earl. you can yeah, stop you you're kidding about that part, right? Because I put stuff on this every day almost. Don't change I mean, the subject. I'm ready for All my right, tech review. Go on with your, uh, your, your dick review. I'm ready for, ready for my tech review. Sex robot, sex robot, sex robot, sex robot, sex robot. All right, I am reviewing today the iPhone 6S. That's right. I got a new phone. And it's two generations old. <laughs> what? The Here's iPhone six S. Six S. Yeah. Well, now what's the S stand for? Uh, super duper. Super duper. Uh, it's a work phone. Here's here's why I switch. I had an Android, Droid Turbo two, which I've had for like almost two years, and it was a great phone. I loved it. I loved that phone. But I had a chance to get a free work phone and that would and then give my old phone to my wife and then she could go find a cheaper plan. So uh, to make a long story short, we're going to save a hundred dollars a month on our phone bill. Right. And I get a brand new iPhone, even though it's an iPhone 6S. But anyway. The iPhone 6S was released or announced in September 9th, 2015, if you didn't know. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it's still a great phone. It's, a, it's an iPhone. It's different than Android. Uh, I've learned one thing from having an iPad. I have an iPad, a Mac, and two uh, PCs here right now running. And I, I can tell you one thing about anybody who says they're diehard Mac and they hate PC, or anybody who's diehard PC and hates Mac, they're full of it. Okay? They don't like the one because they don't, they've never used it and they're afraid of it. Uh, I would agree with uh, you, Leroy, there. I think a lot of people do that often, not just with computers, but uh, in life in general. So, yeah, uh, it's a great phone. If you, if, if you can get an iPhone 6, if you've never had an iPhone uh, or you got an older one, you can get these really cheap now. And uh, 
Yeah, I've got a cover for it. Uh, I've got that in the mail today. I also but, see it shows the time on there. That's cool. It does. Yeah, right there. You can see the time. I can see that it's 8 o'clock. It's, <laughs> it's time to end the show. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, hey. It, uh, yeah, it's a good phone. You know, it's, it does the stuff. And yeah, there it is. That is an awesome tech review. Like, I feel informed now more than I was before we started this show. Oh, that's cool. about the iPhone 6. It's, it's a good phone, and uh, if you like, if you don't like it, it's because you're an asshole, basically. Right. I learned. Exactly. Exactly. And uh, before we go, because we are just about out of time, luckily on Strange Label, there's no live shows after us, so we don't have to worry about the exact time. So, we're actually three minutes. But you are under contract, so there's that. Right. But we have to do at least an hour. And if we can't go live, they would like us to make sure that we promote that on social media, which I will, which I do all the promoting on social media. Uh, I boosted a post, by the way. I told you that last week, buddy, and it's doing real well. Yeah. Uh, what kind of what kind of cheese did you put on this? Uh, I spent twelve bucks. It's not a lot. Twelve bucks. And uh, at this point, we're well over six hundred uh, people saw it. We got like eighty likes. And about four shares. And Would you like to put it up on the screen and share it with us? I mean, what are we looking at here? The post itself, you mean? Yeah, might as well. That's why we have this whole video thing, right? Sure, I so can do people... it. Bring it up here real quick. Uh, do, 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 right. A lot of people just looking at Osama bin Laden the whole goddamn time. <laughs> you mean me? Yeah, you know, man. You want, I'll shave the beard off. Do it. Hey. it off. No, I do want you to shave the beard off, beard off but I think... You should do it live on the show next week. <laughs> that would be entertaining, would it not? Yeah. <laughs> that's a great freaking idea. Ricky shave it for you. Yeah, that's a great idea. Okay, I'm looking for the post. I'll find it here in a second. Don't worry. Uh, it's been buried now in all these other posts that I've made. Well, ladies uh, and gentlemen, it was uh, another nice, lovely evening with you, uh, speaking with you guys. Thanks, Dildano, uh, Agnes, uh, Agnes Hawking for calling in. Uh, thank you, listeners. Number one, shift head. Number two, three, four, however many we have. All right, I think I we got some closet shift heads out there listening, probably, too. All right, I'm sharing my screen there. Can you see it? I can see it. What's it say? Check out the new digs at yeah. LeroyandEarl.com. And starting Wednesday, we'll be back on the Strange Label Podcast Network. Lots of ways to listen. Check them out. LeroyandEarl.com. Yeah, I then, thought uh, people can only see it when I'm talking, so shut up for a second. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's one bad thing about this. Uh, uh, it is cool that it switches back and forth, so, you know, people get to see. Although, Carlisi texted me at the beginning of the show and said it was stuck on you. <laughs> it was stuck on me. Uh, maybe that's because of the echo. Uh, I don't think. I don't think so. Well, maybe. It might have been, you know. All part of one thing. So anyway, uh, that that post there—that's something we used to do a lot. I used to promote uh, the show by finding a picture of a hot girl and then the same hot girl making a crazy face. So that's that's the Leroy and Earl show before you listen to it, and then what happens to you afterwards? <laughs> you have a picture. Can you pull up a picture, of Agnes? Uh, who's Agnes? Agnes Hawking. She called in er earlier on the show. I think it was tonight. That was Augustus Hawking, and I don't have a picture of him. Uh, you're you're confusing. All right. Uh, well, that looks like a cool post there. Before and after, I get it. Uh, Seven hundred eighty-nine people reached, and we got eighty-seven likes, eighty-seven reactions. Several people have shared it. It doesn't say it there. Seven hundred eighty-nine people that do not know what they're clicking on. Right. Exactly. Penis park. Why do you have penis park in your search engine? <laughs> I, was, I was looking for uh, yeah we know we understand it was a rhetorical question <laughs> okay well there's Augustus there's Augustus Hawkins right there uh, know you know he's know. not that's not a woman that's a guy I told you, it's, it's not a woman I, that's oh. what I just told you <laughs> I think you're messing with me now well, anyways, let's end this beautiful. Yep, yep. So this has been uh, the Lee Warren Show, and uh, we're live every every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central on the Strange Label 
podcast network and uh i appreciate everybody i appreciate the show and i got a special song i'm going to play for earl i'm going to play out on this song i like this song it's special special to me and i think earl will appreciate it uh yeah so thank you for listening to the leroy and earl show and you're listening to the leroy and earl show <laughs> what's the name of the show again it's the leroy and earl show Can you hear it? You'll like the first line of this thing. I can hear it. This is going out to you, buddy. Would you bang it? You're listening to Leroy and Earl. All right, little buddy, I appreciate you doing the show. Uh, we'll be back next week. You can listen to the show. I will I will get it up, and it will be available probably sometime before the weekend for your audio pleasure. So. I'm Earl. We are live on the Strange Label Podcast Network. You've been listening to Leroy and Earl's Pet Shift Podcast. And even though everyone involved will soon live to regret it, they are part of the Strange Label Podcast Network. Strangelabel.com. All right, we are no longer live on Strange Label. You there, little buddy? Uh, yeah, I'm here. So uh, the echo's still there. I can hear it. So it's not. It wasn't Strange Label. That's for sure. Yeah, I did. Wait a minute. I thought we got rid of the echo. Well, it's it's way way less. Although I'm hearing myself like delayed. Check. Now it went away. It's just it's like coming and going. Lag, man. It's getting stopped up. We need faster internet. <laughs> Call them up right now. <laughs> I am not paying for any more faster internet. I wonder what it is right now, though. I, mean, I, I should check the internet speed. Oh, right I can hear that echo big time now. Yep. But we're still live on YouTube right now. Why is it so much worse right now? I don't know. I think it's just coming and going, but I don't know why. I, I made sure my camera mic was off because we had that problem before. Remember? Yes, but... Did, your, yours on. Did you turn yours off? My camera mic? Yeah. You have to go into the thing there and turn it off. What thing? Did you not download the software? What software? <laughs> If you go to the website, there's a software that comes with it. You don't have to have well, it. I mean, we can tell by me just muting this thing, and then I'll talk into the camera. Nope. You're good. I'm good then, man. Science. Maybe, maybe I should do that. Here I go. Yeah. Robert, say something, Ricky. Hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, Ricky. Check. Yes, it's your camera. Chastise me for not downloading the software and your fucking camera's on. Chastise you? <laughs> but yes, we can hear you. 
All right, I'm going into the software right now. Wait, 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 wait. Before you do that, unplug the phone and do it again. Unplug what phone? The phone that's recording right now. What phone? That phone, God damn it! the phone mic. Oh, you the mean... one we take phone calls on. Yeah, that phone. God damn it. Right, it's turned yeah. down. It turned no, it no, all... turn it down. Unplug it. Unplug it. All right, it's unplugged. All right, do the test again. It was the phone. I don't know how it could be the phone, but I guess you're right. Let me plug it back in. Well, no, I mean, we're still getting echo right now. Well, it's, it's unplugged. That's what I'm saying. So, I mean, but it, the phone was picking up your voice. Is it? It's not apparent enough that you can hear it. Yeah. It's that's yeah, I get and now I see what you're saying. I guess. I don't know. I don't think it's the camera, but I'm gonna I check. Was I couldn't hear you right there. <laughs> you serious? <laughs> yeah, I couldn't hear a word you were saying. This this uh phone thing, like here, let me turn my voice off and I'll have Father James say something to you. I'll turn the volume up on the phone and I'll turn this. I can't hear you, but you don't have it plugged in, do you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't understand that because I could hear you before. Try it again. Hold on. I had it muted. Try it again. Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me now? Yep. Father James. This is Father James O'Shea, Tennessee. Yep. You boys yep. are so... You, you, how long have you been podcasting? You should be better at this than by now. He's so right about that. Well, you know, the weird thing oh. is, is I can hear echo, but when I mute, I don't hear the echo. So maybe it's something, maybe it's a ground loop on my end. I did spill bleach and water all over my equipment. <laughs> it, is, it is very possible. But Carlisi said he couldn't hear it. Yeah, I don't think it's noticeable, especially for somebody who hasn't listened to the show before. It's probably not that noticeable. But hey, anyways, when are you going to get an Xbox One, man? Never. Okay. Well, when you, you, okay, we got a new game coming out on a computer. You got a computer. We're going to have to get you an Xbox One controller or Bluetooth controller, and you're going to have to join us. We got a whole clan and stuff. What are you playing? It's called Task Force. No Ghost Recon? No, not Ghost Recon. No. And actually, I looked at the specs on Ghost Recon, and I don't think you could play it with your video card. Oh, oh, my cheap video card. I added a, I, I forgot to mention this during the show, but uh, I added a second computer monitor. Really? Yeah. Huh. And I, I think it made this, it made things, I'll take a picture of it, I'll send it to you. All right. Well, oh, right now. <laughs> where are you sending it? I'll send it to you, personally. But where, though? To your phone, to Messenger. Oh, okay. Why well, do I have my phone on me? Jeez. Oh, I, got, I got Messenger on the computer, I think. Yeah, you, you should. I'll send it to you. And send it to me. It's not expensive, but uh, it's cool. Uh, I'm, I'm like, I'm waiting and stuff. I'm, I'm going to send it to you. Send it. Just said, uh, I just checked my internet speed, by the way. My download's right now at 113. Jesus H. Uploads at 11. That's everything is running good. Which one's the new one? The top screen? No, that's uh, that's a TV. I've had that. It's the one on the right is a Dell. Oh, the fucking left, Dell. The one on the left is the one I've had for a while. It's an AOC, and it's actually really great. And I actually I wanted to buy that exact one, but the prices actually went up. And that's why I didn't even have it. So I only I had a limited budget, so I got the Dell, and uh, it's great. So, yep. All right, we should probably uh, go stop this broadcast on Facebook. Thanks for listening, everyone. This has been the Leroy and Earl Show uh, after party, if you will. <laughs> if you will. I am Leroy Leroy. 
I'm Earl Tate. Yep. And we'll uh, we'll see you next week at seven o'clock. Sometimes we go live a little. We might go live a little before seven on Facebook here or on YouTube. YouTube. All right. Oh. Hey, I'm leaving, man. All right. See you later. 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 That's some fast internet right there. All right, thanks for uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next week at uh, around 7 p.m. Peace out.